in the last video we installed uh, bedrock in this video we will install sage this theme to the bedrock boilerplate first you have to go to uh, roos.io slash sage and uh, view the docs here is a git clone command copy it and move to the uh, previously installed uh, bedrock folder here you will see a web folder within there is an app with the themes folder and you have to run this command in this folder but I made a mistake because this folder should be named like sage for example uh, next move to the sage folder and uh, yeah in this git repo In the middle of the page, it says uh, run the npm command. So we will npm install globally uh, gap and buffer. Okay, then run bover not npm install Okay, next you have to run bover install Okay, ready. Uh, and you have to configure one thing in the web folder. So in app themes, sage, uh, in the assets folder, there is a manifest.json. And we have to modify this URL. This will be vacab.wp. So we are logged in into WebApps admin uh, section, and in the themes we choose Sage Starter Team. Yo, it's ready. Wacap.wp and it's set. Yo, hello world. Uh, so, what's good in this? Open the terminal. We are here. Move down to the theme folder. CD web slash app slash themes slash sage and run gap watch and yes we have here a new window and it's refreshed every time we modify something in the theme for example uh, I think this is what we see here is the index.php file uh, uh, 
let's write something here and save it says the fly file is changed and it automatically refreshes the page so I haven't um, pressed the command R it just refreshed and the same happens when you make changes in the styles Yes, it's uh, SAS, CSS. Uh, you you are not allowed to modify this main CSS file. Instead, we here is a global CSS. Let's say body background color will be. this I don't press anything have fun with this